Nigeria Egypt semi final men's tennis. Men's tennis semi final. Interesting. <laughs> Nigeria, 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 let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. This is Africa Games 2023, Accra 2023. Experience the African dream. Yes, um, right now I'm here at the Accra International Conference Center, and we are now done with the semi final stage of the tennis. Um, both men's tennis and women's tennis um, as well. And um, you know, the women's side, we have a Nigerian who has now won the first medal in the tournament. Not her first medal because she's won a medal before um, in the 2019 years games that happened in Rabat. But you know, everything is going on well. The games are really interesting. We have a lot of fans here to also enjoy the games as well. So I'll just allow you to enjoy some few highlights that I from the games. So just stick and stay. Don't forget to like the video for me. Subscribe. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. We have a lot coming your way from Africa Games 2023. Stick and stay. When you did you get injured? No, I was not injured. The floor was really somehow. So I felt like two or three times, but I'm okay. I'm very fine. Wait, so you're ready for 7 p.m.? Of course. <laughs> this is why we are professional. This is what we are made to do. So I'm very ready and we will see. It's quite a tough match. We run for your money. Oh, well, it's always a very difficult match. The level has actually improved in Africa, so can see directly from round of 52, it's really hard and tough. But of course, we, we keep fighting and fighting. It's not about winning all the time, it's about sport monkey. And uh, I will try to, to enjoy. One of your colleagues spoke about the air conditioning and how the wind was changing the course. Table tennis is not an outdoor game, it's an indoor game. So temperature inside the hall should be 18 degrees and there shouldn't be any kind of wind. We can't play in a windy weather. and. Uh, Air condition is always blowing the ball, so the ball is not direct, it's always like this. So it's not normal to play when there is air condition. In terms of your own level, we saw you at the last African Games where you won the gold. If you compare your performance at that competition to what you're doing now, where would you say? Uh, I didn't win gold yet. I, I lost two finals and uh, this is the third one. I'm looking forward to it, you know. I will give my best as always. Uh, the last two times I was in final, I lost. This is the third one. I hope I can, you know, make it count this time around. I will give my best, you know. I'm always prepared, but we will see how it will go. Hopefully, it will be positive. I know you are tired, but have you eaten Ghana Jollof yet? I, I like it, but it shouldn't be a topic to discuss because I you know. will get angry. Nigeria <laughs> Jollof is better. <laughs> All right, so um, like congratulations. His first medal in the 13th African Games going on here in Accra. Tell us how you feel. I feel super excited. I am so proud to be the first person to win a medal in this game. It's been, it's been tough and I really put in my best. And I had this opportunity to play well because we were in World Championship and this helped a lot. And I want to thank the Nigerian Federation for making that possible to go to World Championship because that, was, that served like a training tour and that is the reason why I did very well here. Um, you know, the Egyptian, the reason why they are at the top, they play a lot of tournaments. We don't have that opportunity, but nevertheless, I am always very calm whenever I'm in a tournament. I don't feel stressed for anything. I just try to do my best. And I try to make sure I put in my best. And always, about, about the Egyptian, they are very good. Like Dina, she's a world-class player, and she had this opportunity to play everywhere. I enjoy playing with her. She's very strong, but I did my best. Let's turn this interview down a little bit. What was the playlist you were listening to before you came to the Ubudem tournament? Was it like more with the do Black, Burner? Were you listening to Mercy or even Moses? Who were you listening to before this particular game? At this point, I wasn't listening to any hip hop. I was just listening to gospel music just to calm my nerves. What songs were you listening to? 
um, would I say he's from Yinka, Yinka something. I love listening to him very early in the morning just to calm my nerves because it's a very difficult tournament. And I try to be calm as much as I can and try to make sure I play my best. And also I study the players a lot just to know their strengths and that really helped me a lot. Finally, I can't leave you without asking about how sweet the Nigerian jollof are and how all your other <laughs> friends have been saying that Ghana jollof is better than Nigerian jollof. I'm just asking you, just maybe, is the Ghana jollof that made you way more wet? Have you tasted a Ghana jollof and how do you feel about it? Uh, funny, you know, I haven't tested uh, Ghana jollof. I, of course, we're Africans. You guys can cook. I enjoy the food here in the village. Everything is going smoothly. The food is very nice. Yesterday I ate like fried rice with chicken. It was very nice. I haven't tested Ghana jollof, but I'll try to do that today. I'll yeah. test it. Oh. Congratulations <laughs> on winning the medal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Talk to us about how you feel because we coming into this tournament, are the defending champions from Rabat. We were looking forward to seeing a lot from you. Unfortunately, you are out of the competition. Talk to us about how you feel about this whole thing. Uh, regardless of how everything went down here, it has nothing to do with that. I am the former champion of the tournament. I came here just like every other player to win medals for my country. And luckily for me, the journey in the singles event ended against Omar Asha today. So you still have um, the doubles, the big doubles and the team events to look out for. How important are those other um, events for you? Every every medal year is important. So yeah, and I'm very sure that I'm going to win medals here. I'm not going to win any And so um, can you talk to us about how you have seen the organization of the event so far? Have you been impressed? Do you think room for improvement? Big room for improvement, obviously. And uh, first of all, talking about the air condition is disturbing us. We cannot play. It's affecting us. We actually don't. I, as a player, I'm not satisfied. I won't lie to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you can see that. Yeah, Ghana is really their best, but they can be better. So, as a player, you are playing. Um, but you've talked to us about the air condition. What other things can they improve ahead of um, the doubles, the mixed doubles, and then the team events? Uh, I think everything is okay. Just the air condition. They should turn it off. We need it off because it, disturb, it disturbs the, the movement of the ball. And yeah, and I'm not the only one complaining about this. Most of all the players are complaining about I think every other thing here is, is okay. I'm sure you have tasted the sweet Ghanaian jollof and after eating all your Nigerian jollof, tasting Ghana jollof, did it change your mind about anything? I haven't tasted Ghanaian jollof, so, so I can't be the judge of that, but I think I'm going to have a day, a, a, a break and I'm going to go to the city and eat and try to enjoy some Ghanaian food. We have uh, wanche and all of that, you know, banku and all of that. I'm looking forward to trying them. But finally, how do you see Accra as a city hosting this um, event? Yeah, I think it's just like Nigeria. Like, I think everything here... I'm from Lagos, so it seems like a little bit of Lagos, a little bit of traffic here and there. You know, it's a major city. People are friendly. You know, they're always smiling, greeting. Yeah, I feel at home. Yeah, yeah I feel at home. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.